Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a timeline graph in Einstein Analytics. So the scenario we're going to do today is grocery stores in Ohio, and we're going to um, map them to products and how much they've bought over a period of October 2019 to today. So the first thing I did was I used data import and setup and I created the 10 accounts and the next thing I did is I opened Notepad and created some data that we're going to put in Makaroo. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Makaroo. And we're going to start making our data. So get rid of these rows. And the first one we're going to do is account ID to account name. And this is going to be a custom list. Now, we want these to stay together, at least for Makaroo. So I put a dash here, that way it's easy to parse in Vim. And a note here, if you have a comma in your name, make sure you use quotes. Um, because if, if there is no quotes, this is going to be treated as like a CSV, so village is going to be one entity, and then in sync is going to be another entity. So to keep that together, put quotes if you have commas in your names. So these IDs go with the account names, and we're going to copy this. We're going to put in Makaroo. We're going to add another field. This one's going to be date. And just use the default date, uh, Salesforce can parse that. Next one, field, is going to be amount. This is going to be a number. And do it between like 500 and 5,000. That's like how much products they bought in a day. Like they bought $500 worth of avocados on this state. And the next field is called product, and that's going to be a custom list. And I have five of these products here. To keep the product out okay and there we go and instead of 1,000 rows we're just gonna do 300 and hit the preview button all right this looks good we see village market and in sync are there there's our dates amounts and the products that they bought all right now I'm gonna download data I'm going to call it accountdata.csv and then I'm going to go into git bash which I have on Windows and what we're going to do is we're going to copy account data to accountdata.copy.csv that way if anything goes wrong we have a copy so use vim and here's our data, and it needs some cleaning up. So we see Village Market, and it's got a quote at the beginning of the line. And we would rather have that quote to Village Market where the name is. So I have some Vim commands here. This first one removes the quote in the front if it exists. So it'll leave all these other lines alone, but it'll get rid of the quote here. So do exit on your keyboard, semicolon, percentage sign, S. Look in the front. Look for that quote. Do between one and two character. And it says it made 35 substitutions on 35 lines. And we see that quote went away. Now we want the quote for um, village markets to be over here. So what we can do is we can make another substitution. We're going to be looking for village and we're going to replace it with village with a quote. Alright, and as you can see that quote is there which is what we want. And the last step is to replace this dash with a comma. 
That way we separate account ID and account name. So I'm going to do another substitution. We're looking for a dash. We're going to replace it with a comma. And that made 301 substitutions. And if you do GG on your keyboard, that'll bring you back to the front. And we see we got account ID, comma, account name, which is what we want. And this data is all good. Do uh, semicolon W quit. So that saves it and quits it. All right, and then we're gonna go into Einstein Analytics. Do create data set, CSV, account data, next. Actually, I made already made an account data. We'll do account data final. Or better yet, let's see all items. Data sets, account test. Let's edit this. It's best to replace files that way you're not. I don't know, polluting with the same data and just have too many files. All right, so we got our account ID, account name date. Let's see if this is the right format. Month, day, year. Yep. Amount is a measure. Uh, products dimension. Alright, let's upload file. Let's replace. Alright, so account test was replaced with our new data. So I'm going to go to create dashboard. Blank dashboard and I want to change a few values here actually we can go to full make 32 columns all right so I'm going to drag a chart on the table expand it we're going to use account test and go over here to charts and we're going to choose timeline Want to, the first thing we're going to do is the time access. We're going to click date, year, month. We get from May to May. And then the y axis is going to be at the sum of the amount. We're also going to create a heat map. x-axis is going to be account name and then y-axis is going to be product and we're done with that so let's save this first grocery stores summer fruit and if we hit preview this can affect the graph, the heat map. So if we do save a lot, not much papayas they're buying. And that's actually counter rows. Let's change this to sum. Back to preview. Let's go back to save a lot. So they bought 12,699 worth of papayas and the sum amount goes to 5.2 to 32 Whole Foods bought 31,000 pineapples 
with the graph here, we can see the amount total for each of the months of how much like fruit was bought. If we want the graph to display a bit more information, we can do lines and do product. And then you can see how each product is doing. Let's just expand this. So we see papayas are up there in February, even though it's summer. Um, you'd probably have to, instead of doing the date range I did, probably just do summer month. And see avocados. Yep, so this is how you make a simple timeline graph. And that's all I have. Oh, and by the way, let me show you. If you go to formatting, you can actually add some little markers. So let's say today is, I don't know, March. This would be more like, this is what we predict is going to happen. Then Y axis, reference line, and let's say we have a quota of 24,000. We'll name it quota. We can change it to green. And there you go, that's your simple timeline graph.